last year's game was really competitive, really, really good game. I would expect that this year's one should be something very, very similar from the point of view of the quality of the game. Um, you know, obviously Waterford had a setback in the Munster final and that can work to your advantage sometimes. And, you know, it was um, a tough, tough day for them and we'd have really strengthened the resolve, I suppose. But, you know, they have terrific players, terrific skill, bounce back very, very well. And it's really just a question of both teams are going to be going there to absolutely intend to win in the game and it's, it's, it's whatever happens on the day, then we'll decide it. A few years ago we got, we got annihilated in the Leinster final and we bounced back from that. It happens, hurling is like that, it can happen and when it does happen it kind of, you know, it steals you that it makes sure that it would never happen again. So that's, that, will, that is something that will have been a massive learning experience for, for the Waterford team and I suppose in particular the younger players and now that it has happened to them it makes them more dangerous obviously. I suppose a lot of more people maybe work in Watford or, you know, they'd have, you know, relatives or whatever living in around Watford. So the banter's there is good. I'm, I'm living in Kilkenny here now. I'm a small bit away from it. So I'm, gl I'm glad of that, you know, you can keep your mind refreshed. But uh, look, it's, it's, uh, it is a tense rivalry, you know, it's, it's um, uh, especially down where we're from. And, you know, when, when, you're, when you're on the border to someone, be it club or county, whatever, you don't want to be losing to them. And there's always an added bite to it. Training, you have to, you have to bring the best out in each other you have to you know put yourself in a in a, in a I suppose a match scenario you know you want to be um, you want to be pushing the lad beside you in front of you you know you want to be pushing everyone on the panel in a, in in a case that look if your if your back is is against the wall in a match or in a certain scenario you know that you maybe have experienced that and more in training so you know how to come out fighting you know uh, uh, what you have to do to get yourself out of a cer certain situation so look it has to be it has to be tough if, if it's not tough we're not doing ourselves justice and um, you know it just wouldn't be good enough like I don't think we've changed too much over the years to be honest about it you know we um we don't, we, we're, we're fairly orthodox, I suppose, if you like, um, but we would, we would always look, think that we would like to think that we work hard and that we have a decent level of skill as well. Different managers are approaching things differently, but everyone talks about, when it, a lot of people talk about Waterford and talk about systems, I always think about Waterford and think about skill, you know, they have fantastic skill, I think, fantastic players. And they're so flexible as a team, their players are interchangeable very, very much, so it gives them the opportunity to be to play, to play maybe, to throw a different challenge at you during, during the game even, from the point of view of players switching positions and that. But anyone who thinks they're not a seriously attacking team with potential to seriously hurt ourselves or any other opposition is wrong. Yeah.